Welcome back viewers, an area of great concern um, in this wine industry is when do we wean? In an effort to keep our production parameters tight because most producers and farmers are trying to grapple with 2.5 farrowings per year or so. And this seems to be one of the main difficulties um, as they go through the process because some of the farmers tend to practice 21 days weaning and on the other side the flip of the coin some of the farmers at the same time they're now willing to compromise the growth rate of the piglet and instead of weaning at 21 days some of the farmers tend to wean at 45 days this uh, variation in time somehow tend to pose a problem and this is the difficulty that I wish to bring before you now what you'll observe with the farmers who wean at 42 and, and 49 days is that the sow tends to lose body condition and when this occurs it, there's a great difficulty to actually have soup ovulation or the release of more eggs uh, which will allow for more fertilization um, upon the breeding by the boar. This difficulty um, will result in less than two or about two farrowings per liter per year or two liters per year. Now, if you look at the other side of the coin, the benefits of weeding at 28 days, you'll realize that a growing area is having an appreciation for what goes on. Now uterine involution occurs at 28 days. That's when the uterus tends to come back to its regular shape. And at the same time, in the same breath, the milk production tends to peak at 28 days. So on the side of the piglet, what you'll find happening is that there's more uniformity at that point in time because milk is at its peak so the piglets will be able to have a full flow of readily available milk. And then the milk would tend to decline. So by day 35, the milk would decline. So from all research work that have been ventured by a lot of um, researchers, they found that 28 and 35 days are the best times to actually wean the piglets for a number of reasons. One, at 28 days, the piglet's immune system kicks in um, and we were sure that survivability would not be a problem at that stage as against if we wean at 21 days. At 21 days, the animal would not have peak in milk production and the, and the piglets at the same time would not have adequate amount of milk. And so they would try to do this milk replacement um, therapy as against where the mother would be able to provide that milk on her own. So these are factors that we must consider when we are contemplating weaning, when we should wean. I strongly suggest that the better time to wean is 28 days, um, no greater than 35 days. 21 days weaning is not bad, but um, with proper supplemental um, feeding practices, um, it can be tolerated. But then the rest period, the uterine involution, the process of allowing the, the um, uterus to come back to its normal state and to allow for rest, we should never compromise that because we will try to push the animal and in pushing the same animal what we will attempt to do is to actually destroy the reproductive potentials at some point in time with our quest for money and to push the productivity higher yes i agree that um it is of importance we would like to see 2.6 2.7 uh, liters per year but under this tropical conditions, we need to pay attention to what's happening within the animal because animal welfare is an area of key interest. And so I do not wish to overemphasize the need to allow uh, for all these things to occur. So I advise you, it's a good thing to win a 28 to 35 days for all the reasons explained. And then it gives the animal sufficient time to rest because three days after that weaning, now, this weaning process should be done gradual. The first thing we would usually do is to remove the sow from the pen. 
Because the piglets, um, even though they miss their mother, they will be confined to a pen, they'll be able to be around the same surroundings, and around with one another, establish the pecking order, and they would have been more confined to an environment to which they're subjected to, instead of undergoing two levels of shock. And then after that period, we allow a week, and then we do the actual removal into the respective um, fattening areas um, so assigned. So I do hope that this video is informative enough for you to guide you on your way of weaning so that you can be able to have um, a more successful and more profitable enterprise in prick production.